Hey, have you seen the Journey to the Center of the Earth movie? If you did, you must have seen scientists descending into a cave to find a dinosaur there. That's just science fiction. Would you like to learn what it looks like in real life? Today we'll peek into a 12-kilometer well, visit the deepest cave, and dive into the Mariana Trench. Do you want to know what secrets are hidden inside the Earth? Let's go see then. The deepest well in the world is located in Russia, on the Kola Peninsula. It took 21 years to drill this unique well. During this time, scientists managed to go as deep as 12 kilometers, 262 meters into the ground. The deeper the drill went, the hotter it got. At a depth of 5 kilometers, the temperature rose to 70 degrees. At 7, it exceeded 120 degrees. And at a depth of 12 kilometers, it reached 220 degrees. You can grill meat at the bottom of the Kola well. When the information about the extremely deep hole reached the public, rumors began to circulate, stating that scientists had drilled a hole to hell. People said that the temperature at the bottom of the well actually reached 1,000 degrees. They claimed that one could hear sinners crying there. And that an actual demon even got out of the well once. Yes, yes, the drillers saw it with their own eyes. Such legends are still all over the internet. Check it out if you want. The Americans also wanted to drill the world's deepest well. Thus, Project Mohol was launched in 1961. American scientists wanted to explore the lower boundary of the Earth's crust with the help of deep-sea drilling. Does this decision seem strange to you? Me too. However, scientists were hoping that it would be more feasible to drill in the ocean because the mantle lies much closer to the seabed. Having drilled five wells up to 180 meters deep, the Americans realized their mistake. Unfortunately, it was too late. Having exceeded the budget allocated for the research, they were forced to close the project. The Soviet Union won this competition. However, the Americans have drilled incredibly deep holes in the ice of Antarctica, as many as 86 wells with a depth of 2,820 meters. Impressive, right? The thing is that they needed these wells for space exploration. I'm not kidding. Neutrino studies are one of the most important branches of space research. But it is impossible to separate neutrinos from other elements on the surface of the Earth. Therefore, scientists decided to use the planet itself as a filter. The Americans built the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory and drilled dozens of deep wells using hot water. Super-sensitive equipment was installed in each of the three-kilometer-long tunnels to detect neutrino trails. The diameter of an average diamond is just a few millimeters. And you need to dig a 640-meter deep hole to extract it. The dimensions of the Udaknaya pipe quarry are just stunning. The narrowest section has a diameter of 1,600 meters and the widest as much as 2 kilometers. This giant hole can even be seen from space. The ledges streaming along these walls look like natural folds of rock. But in fact, it's a serpentine dirt road for the huge mining trucks. It took diamond miners over 60 years to dig a hole this big. During this time, they mined 360 million tons of ore and diamonds, worth over $80 billion. However, the deepest spot in the world is the Bingham Canyon in the USA. This monstrous pit is 1 kilometer 200 meters deep, with an outer diameter of about 4 kilometers. Such a gigantic area could fit 10 football fields. This is how Bingham Canyon looks from space. See those tiny ears? They are the mining dump trucks weighing over 500 tons each. This is what giant machines look like when viewed from the top of the quarry. You may wonder why people would need such a huge hole in the ground. Copper ore has been mined in Bingham Canyon for over 150 years. At first, it was a small mine, but over time the pit got deeper and deeper, becoming one of the largest artificial objects on the planet. And the quarry continues to grow. The owners are planning on expanding the canyon by another 300 meters by 2030. Look at this 700-meter well. It was drilled to save people. As a result of the Chilean San Jose mine collapse, 33 people got trapped underground. 
The miners hid in a side branch at a depth of about 700 meters. First, the rescuers went down the mine through the ventilation ducts, but the rubble blocked their way. They tried using heavy equipment and even cleared out a small area, but because of a new landslide, the operation had to be stopped. The situation seemed hopeless. But then the rescue team got a brilliant idea. They decided to retrieve the survivors through a vertical well. Nobody in the world had done anything like that before. Initially, they drilled two narrow wells, one for ventilation purposes and the other for food and water transportation. Having provided the miners with everything they needed, the rescuers started working on the main well. Having drilled a wide hole, the rescue team suspended a cabin on steel cables and lowered it down. 69 days after the collapse, all the miners were rescued. Kudos to the Chilean rescuers. Sometimes huge man-made holes appear unintentionally. The Tuimski mine was an ordinary mining site where tungsten and copper molybdenum ores were extracted. Over time, the deposits were depleted and the mine was abandoned. However, one day, the locals heard a deafening roar. The earth was shaking under their feet. People rushed to see what was going on and found a chasm on the site of the abandoned mine. Thin from the inside, the mountain couldn't bear its own weight and collapsed. A few decades later, another collapse occurred, forming a crater 327 meters deep on the site of the Tuimski mine. The huge hole in the ground got filled with water later, forming an incredibly beautiful lake. Now tourists and extreme sports fans go there for base jumping and bungee jumping, while the ice lake has become a real challenge for divers. Do you think this is just an ordinary hole in the ground? Actually, this is the entrance of the deepest cave on the planet. Amazingly, cavers used to explore the well located just behind its entrance. Being focused on more spectacular objects, they missed the cave altogether. Fifteen years later, the Veryovkina cave was rediscovered. The explorers went 440 meters down, but had to stop there because their route turned out to be very difficult. It was only in 2018 that this incredible cave got thoroughly explored. It turned out to be 2 kilometers and 212 meters deep. It took about a week to get to the bottom of this giant vertical maze. Cavers descended on ropes, despite the fact that everyone carried a backpack weighing over 20 kilograms. This is how the researchers spent their nights. At the bottom of the Veryovkina cave, cavers discovered 20 new species of animals. Those creatures haven't left the cave for millions of years, being perfectly adjusted to life in complete darkness. How do you think they felt when they saw the light? Share your thoughts in the comments. This is how excess water from a dam is usually disposed of. However, the engineers at the Monticello Dam got creative and made this giant whirlpool. The glory hole is the largest man-made spillway on the planet. You probably think that water just flows into a huge hole? No? In fact, there's a 100-meter pipe hidden in the lake. When the lake becomes shallow, the edge of the huge funnel shows above the water. During the rainy seasons, the water level in the lake rises. It flows over the edge of the funnel and starts flowing inside, just like in a regular bathroom. What's on the other end of the pipe? Let's see. The drain of the huge funnel has been placed outside of the dam and the water flows into the river in a bubbling stream. 82 tons of water pass through the glory hole in just one minute. This can be compared to four loaded Kamaz trucks. The deepest underwater hole is the Mariana Trench. It's 10,994 meters deep. For comparison, Everest is only 8,848 meters high. If Everest were placed at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, its peak would not even show from under the water. Only eight people have been to the bottom of the deepest natural depression in the world. It's even less people that have been to the moon. Why do you think people are more eager to explore space than water depths? Share your thoughts in the comments. What did the researchers find at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? You won't believe it. There are mountains there. Four mountain peaks up to two and a half kilometers high and one active volcano. 
It's very cold at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, only 4 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is so strong that it flattens the submarines. And yet, there is life at the bottom. Mollusks, anthropods, and slugs inhabit the deepest point of the planet, but there aren't any fish there. Even deep-sea monsters can't withstand the immense pressure of a thousand atmospheres. In Yakutia, helicopter pilots noticed a huge pit where there used to be flat ground. The funnel was 60 meters in diameter and 200 meters in depth. In addition, the soil surrounding the funnel had gathered at the edges of the hole, which means that the force was directed from below. Are you wondering who could have punched a hole in the ground from underneath? Do huge underground worms really exist? Of course they don't. It was gas that made that hole. After analyzing the soil, scientists found traces of methane. Since Yakutia is in the permafrost zone, the gas has been crystallized in the cold, and when methane crystals start melting, the gas instantly expanded, sending up tons of Earth. Moreover, a huge hole in the ground once appeared right in the capital city of Guatemala. It was an ordinary Sunday, and people were relaxing, when suddenly there was a strong roar. The ground parted, and a crater about 1,000 meters deep and 20 meters wide appeared in the center of the city. A three-story garment factory and a whole intersection collapsed into the huge hole. Experts have no idea why it happened. There was no earthquake that day, and there were no underground works. It might have been caused by Hurricane Agata, which had swept over Guatemala just a few days before. However, scientists are uncertain about it. Well, that's all, friends. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.